for private officers has been growing it's for a few years now. A private detective and protective agent service, the city's private providers grew from 14 in 2019 up to 27 in 2021. Are communities just as safe or worse off? First of all, because they don't have no arrest in power. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you, if we depend on a lot of the security. Let's say they did. If they did, it'd be, you know, if we could work together, it'd be a whole lot thing. You know, what would be your better. concern, though, as a, a law enforcement officer and constable? Well, the training, some of the training that we do that they don't, a lot of the training they don't do, you know, so it's a different in the training. So I would be concerned, but at the same time, there are things that they can do that can help us in a whole lot of a lot a lot, lot of situations like the clubs and then when they do the searching and things of that magnitude that was a if we work together i think it can work together i think it can work you know mm -hmm. because security they they do good jobs in certain situations and there are certain things they can't do it's just that simple mr walker being with private security would you agree with that there are certain things that you can and cannot do good Absolutely, I do agree that there are certain things that we can and we cannot do, but I also think that we could definitely work together. I look at personal protection as a layer just before they actually get there, so I'm not trying to take the place of a police officer, but if there are certain things that are going on in the city and they can't respond quickly, I can be there. Mm -hmm. Uh, Smokey Phillips with the afro Americans Deputy, tell us y your position on this. My position is this. As a seasoned veteran law enforcement <laughs> officer. I'm just a servant. Uh, Outnumbered law so enforcement. The, the, the more security officers yeah. in Texas right. than it is in probably 47 states. I think California is more in New York City, of course. Uh, but the security officers have more protection on private property than do the officers. They have more power on private property. Mm -hmm. versus the police officer because they're police officers we are government workers versus someone in private security like Marcus who works for a company or works for a private individual so but the whole thing in a nutshell is all a crime prevention situation like Marcus said earlier that it all helps prevent crime uh, I, I'm glad it's the security officers at some places like Constable mentioned at clubs that it, that ties off. Uh, it doesn't tie the officer up to have to go there and do call for service there. Mm -hmm. Would it change things if these private security officers were hired by a municipality, a government? Then are they held to the same constraints that you guys are? Constitutionally, the security officer has more power on private property than what we have. When I say we peace officers, we can't go challenge someone who's walking on that property, whereas a security officer can, because we're bounded by constitutional law and the constitutional rights of that person. So if a city or county bring, will bring them in, it's, it's like a contract worker instead of you are a law enforcement officer for this county or this city. Well, law enforcement officers are governed by TCO. Mm -hmm. Security companies are governed by the Texas Department of Public Safety. So it, it, you would have to change, move uh, with governor's peace officers, Article 212 of the Texas uh, Code, and I think the, peace, the security officers are governed under the Occupational Code, 17.01, something like that. Mm -hmm. So you would have to restructure the whole articles in order to get them to hire security officers as mm -hmm. police officers, but the governor may have some type of authority that he can do so when it comes to governance of the state of Texas. Not that they're talking about this here in the state of Texas at all right now, but we're seeing it in some other parts of the country. Would this be something that you would embrace or you would have to investigate more, see what the laws and the rules would look like? I think we, I, I, would, I would definitely encourage the laws, we get some change, laws change, especially with the reserve officers. The reserve officers sometimes are treated just like uh, uh, security officers, you know, and we got to change that because we use them in the public doing things, but when it comes down to them doing side jobs, it's a whole different story. Mm -hmm. So there are laws that we have to work on to make the situation better for us. The security guards need arrest and power because people don't respect the security guards when they work in their certain jobs. They work in because they know they don't have no arrest and power. And so once we get there, 
and do the things, it makes the job a lot harder. But if they had some arresting power, we both can work together and make it it'd be a lot safer for the community. All right. We'll